Are you guys in need of any Mutt Coins? Look no further than MrMuttCoin.com. They got coins on all platforms, and prices are way down right now. Go check it out. Use code Ryan for 15% off. Yo, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another Madden 18 Ultimate Team video. Now, I do want to go ahead and say real quick, I thoroughly apologize for not having a lot of videos up this week. Um, I did the best I could, but if you guys know anything about what's been going on weather-wise in Northeastern, uh, basically part of the U.S., uh, specifically in Pennsylvania, you would know that the weather has been terrible. Like, we are dealing with, I think, about 125 or 127 inches of snow this month, and it's just been ridiculous the last couple of weeks here, especially this last two weeks. Uh, we had like 58 inches of snow, almost 60 inches of snow in one day, like overnight into the next day. Um, just so much things going on right now with my mom trying to help her. Uh, her car is stuck. My dad's car is stuck. Uh, my dad actually had to go ahead and take a, a, a bus up to just get groceries, and he's having a hard time even getting back right now. So it's just a lot of stuff going on, but we are going to go ahead and make this video here. Uh, you know, we are expecting a big warm-up right now in the weather, and it looks like a lot of the snow is actually going to melt. So thankfully, this nightmare is going to end. I can't believe how I even have to talk about this, but I just want to let you guys know what's been going on. Uh, but right now, we do have Football Outsiders cards here for this month coming in right now hot. Uh, the Week 18 DVOA ratings here on Football Outsiders. They have the ratings if you want to take a look. Uh, what's been going on here with all the playoff teams. Um, of course, my Tennessee Titans all the way ranked down here at 18. Uh, the worst playoff team according to advanced statistics here on this website that is left. Uh, obviously, New England is number one. So we got a tall order on our hands there to try to beat them. Big, one of the biggest upsets in NFL history if it were to happen. Uh, but, of course, New Orleans is there. Minnesota, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia. You got Jacksonville, Atlanta. And then, of course, the Tennessee Titans. So let's go ahead and take a look now at the Football Outsiders cards. I'm going to go ahead and zoom it in a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see. Uh, so it looks like the main cards we have here, and hopefully you can see everything right now um, on the screen. I'm not sure if it's going to record everything, uh, but I will scroll. I'll scroll down a little bit as I go. But it looks like Jimmy Garoppolo here is going to be one of the main cards. Uh, led NFL with 560 yards uh, passing. Uh, D Y A R. I'm not exactly sure what exactly that exactly means. Like I said, I'm not a big time football outsiders uh, person. I don't go, you know, look into depth and what their advanced statistics look like. But uh, 297 yards per game, 8.2 net passing yards per attempt. Uh, so he's been very good. Obviously, he's beaten the teams uh, of the likes of I think uh, the Bears, the Titans, and the Jaguars. And I think he ended off against the Rams. So he went actually uh, five and zero or four and zero as a starter. And uh, definitely been playing really, really good. Another guy we have here, Jamal Williams. So Jamal Williams on the Green Bay Packers. A lot of people don't know if it's him or if it's Aaron Jones is going to be the main starter there entering into the next season. But he had a very good month. Uh, fourth among running backs with 94 DYAR in December. 83 carries for 332 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, we have Doug Baldwin for the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, fifth among wide receivers with 133 DYAR in December, 17 of 28, uh, 293 yards and four touchdowns. Actually, not bad at all. Uh, definitely. I didn't even realize he was having that good of a year uh, near the end there. Uh, left tackle, we got Ronnie Stanley of the Baltimore Ravens. In December, Ravens running backs led the NFL with 57% success rate, and uh, the Ravens offensive line allowed a league low 2.1% adjusted sack rate. Uh, so definitely, Ronnie Stanley has been playing out of his mind. Uh, unfortunately, the Baltimore Ravens did not make the playoffs. They actually choked. Uh, I don't really want to use the word choked, but they kind of did, right? Like, I'm not trying to be an ass if you're a Baltimore Ravens fan, but they kind of choked there at the end against Cincinnati and got themselves eliminated. Uh, but, yeah, Ronnie Stanley definitely been playing a lot uh, better uh, entering into December there. So Mike Pouncey, center, Miami Dolphins. Miami running backs led the NFL with 63% success rate on runs up the middle, obviously where he would be located. In December, 59 carries for 282 yards and two touchdowns. So with the loss of Jay Ajayi, looks like Kenyon Drake and crew were doing some pretty good work there in December up the middle. Uh, right in, we got Vinny Curry of the Philadelphia Eagles. Currently still in the playoffs, obviously, divisional round. I think they're playing the Atlanta Falcons. And I think they are the underdog here, but 18 hurries and an NFL leading 10 quarterback knockdowns in December. Uh, so he's been playing very, very good as well. Uh, should be a pretty good card. So, so far, out of the last couple of cards we mentioned, it looks like Jimmy Garoppolo 
and Doug Baldwin will probably be the best cards. Uh, maybe usable cards. I'm not sure. They might be like 94, 95 overall. Uh, I'm kind of talking a lot right now. Like I said, I've been dealing with a whole bunch of stuff. Kind of like just depressing. And I don't know. I just want to keep going though and fight through the video. Uh, Zach Cunningham, middle linebacker, Houston Texans. Uh, tied the NFL lead, um, or tied for NFL lead with 13 defeats in December. Not exactly sure what a defeat is uh, in terms of stats, but 1.5 sacks, six other tackle for losses, five pass deflections or tackles to prevent third down conversions. Uh, so <laughs> whatever that means, I'm not even exactly sure. Moving on ahead, we got Xavier Howard of the Miami Dolphins, cornerback. Uh, I haven't even seen him get any new cards this year, so I'm not really sure what that's going to look like, but it might be a good card, might have 91 zone, not sure, uh, but he had four picks in December, which is crazy, didn't even realize that, Miami ranked third in DVOA against the number one wide receiver, so they were playing very, very good uh, defensively against wide receivers, uh, strong safety, Bradley McDougald, I think is how you say his name, of the Seahawks, um, led all safeties with nine defeats in December, again, I'm not sure exactly what that means, uh, second amongst uh, safeties with 26 run tackles, and which came to only 3.5 average yards from line of scrimmage. So uh, definitely a really good in-the-box safety. He might have really good tackle, hit power, whatnot. Uh, then we got Robbie Gold and Ryan Allen. You don't really need to know exactly uh, what those guys are doing. I guess 18 of 18 on field goals for Robbie Gould. And then Ryan Allen of New England led punters with 6.5 points of estimated field position. Uh, so pretty much playing very, very well. Another guy we have to worry about, Ryan Allen, if they end up punting a lot, which they probably won't. Uh, but if they do, definitely a really good uh, punter there in New England. So that is going to be the Football Outsiders cards. Hopefully you guys uh, are getting ready and prepared for it. Uh, a lot of gold cards are going for a lot right now. So you might not even want to make uh, gold tokens unless you want to make like other teams that aren't in the playoffs. Because I'm sure they're going to take gold tokens. But that is going to be Football Outsiders. Um, again, Jimmy Garoppolo, probably going to be the best card there. Uh, kicker and punter, Robbie Gould and Ryan Allen, probably going to be like 90 I would say 6 overall, 95 overall. Definitely going to be cards there that everyone's going to want. Uh, Jamal Williams should be a little bit good. Doug Baldwin will be really good. And then a couple of O-linemen there with a right end. Vinny Curry, Zach Cunningham might be good. I'm not sure if he's like a fast player. And then Xavier Howard, Bradley McDougal might have 91 zone. We're getting to that point now where everything that comes out in Mutt is going to be really, really good. Like 95, 96 overall. So we'll see. But that is going to be the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Give it a like for all the crap that I've had to deal with with this weather, man. Like, I'm just so stressed out right now. It's just so just upsetting. And I just can't. I don't know what Mother Nature is doing to us right now. They're just crapping all over us. Uh, but that's going to be the end of the video. Go ahead and give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'll get you guys some gameplay here. Team, or uh, not team of the week. What am I even talking about? I'll get you guys some gameplay on Mutt Squads. I know you guys probably want to follow up video to that John Madden thing I was talking about. We're having three John Maddens. We get upped in ratings. I'll show you guys all the ratings of all the players, all that stuff. Uh, but I will probably do that probably tomorrow or maybe tonight, depending on if things calm down. But I will talk to you guys later. Peace.